Hey everybody, Steve here from the janitorostore.com. See, I had a person in chat uh, ask me about what's the formula for pricing carpet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through here and I'm just going to give you some quick tips. Now here we're, we're looking at, uh, this is a residential carpet, but you know your pricing uh, can be similar. Uh, you know, generally in residential, you're going to uh, see where they'll do three rooms and a half for 99 bucks. Um, you know, and it's you see that's it's kind of common. You're you're you know you're playing that game. Um, I say that you should always just uh, price by the square foot, and uh, you know that might be 21 cents, uh, you know, or uh, 15 cents a square foot for commercial, 18 cents on average maybe. Uh, then for residential, maybe you're going to be charging uh, 25 to 35 cents a square foot. But that's what I think is the best thing to do. So, uh, you know, I always like to just measure up the space, know my square footage, and give a person based on that. You know, rather than playing that, that game of, well, three rooms in a hall for 99 bucks, and then, you know, plus uh, upsells and so on and so forth. So... Uh, the only difference in your carpet is that uh, is going to be the carpet, uh, the type of carpet, you know, and the fiber. Uh, here in a residential, you got a more of a, you know, of a plush uh, pile, you know, the uh, Saxony cut here. This, that's what this is. And uh, commercially, you're going to have a low, low cut, uh, you know, uh, probably a, an olefin type fiber, um, you know, something that holds up much better to more traffic and stuff. But you know that's uh, that's really the the, the only two, the difference. Uh, you're going to clean both of them uh, either with hot water extraction, encapsulation, uh, a bonnet, uh, or uh, you know a dry method. So that's really the only the only difference. Um, you know, and also when you get ready to the, to do your pricing, like I say, you know, take the square footage uh, multiplied by your price per square foot. You do need to know your production rates and things like that. Um, you know, uh, because you do, you always want to run a per per hour price too, uh, just to make sure that uh, that you're hitting your marks. Uh, although in carpet cleaning, you can on average do 100 150 dollars per hour. So you know, hitting your your hourly uh, mark should not be a should not be an issue. So, <clears throat> but uh, the the formula for cleaning carpets is uh, square foot times. Your price per uh, uh, price per square foot. Uh, that's that equals the price that you're going to charge, uh, and that's really as, as simple as it gets. Uh, you may have a separate price for hot water extraction, uh, another one for encapsulation, another one for bonnet cleaning, another one for dry cleaning. But in either case, you know, know what your production rates are on those, and uh, you know, really drill it down so you know your numbers, uh, so you know, okay, I'm going to charge X amount. Uh, per square foot for uh, for an encapsulation clean for a commercial carpet, or I'm going to do a hot water extraction in a residential home, and I'm going to charge you know you know 35 cents a square foot. You know the other thing that you can always do you can always upsell you can always upsell uh, people to get carpet protectant. So that's the other thing you can do. So you're going to clean the carpet and then you can put a protectant on it. Uh, and then you can always just add that as an upsell. But anyway, that's uh, basically the, that's the formula to clean carpets. Not really that hard. Uh, like I say, it's just all about uh, the type of uh, uh, cleaning that you're going to do. And no matter what it is, uh, commercial or residential, um, the key is to make sure you dry that carpet quickly. So don't overwet the carpet. Don't have it take 24, 48 hours to dry. If you do, you're going to end up with problems. It's going to wick on you. Uh, just all kinds of problems. So the key to carpet cleaning is to uh, clean it well and then dry it quickly. So set up your carpet fans, turn on your exhaust fans, and uh, get it to dry within an hour. So there you are. Uh, hopefully uh, this uh, gives you some good information on what you should be pricing for your carpet cleaning.